um, Mark Knoll. Um, Mark is the Managing Director and CEO of Parenti. Uh, Mark was appointed the Managing Director and CEO of Parenti in September 2018. He has more than 20 years experience in the mining industry throughout Australia, New Zealand, Africa, and the Americas. Prior to joining Parenti, Mark held several executive roles and <coughs> various operational leadership positions with international uh, mining service providers. His experience spans underground, open cut, process engineering operations across a variety of commodities, including iron ore, gold, copper, diamonds, nickel, and oil sands. Mark holds a Bachelor of Civil Engineering degree with honors from the University of Western Australia and an executive MBA from the University of New South Wales. Mark's strategy and growth expertise coupled with his uh, operational experience have fostered a strong understanding of the success factors that drive performance in the mining industry. Please join me in welcoming Mark. Good afternoon to the uh, attendees in Perth and good morning to the attendees online from Africa. Firstly, I'd like to thank the PayDirt team for the opportunity to present today and congratulate the team on getting the conference underway during this challenging year. Today, I won't be talking about our financial numbers, even though FY20 was record revenue and record EBITDA and record cash conversion. I'll be instead talking about uh, our journey in, uh, in Africa. Prenti has a long and proud history of operating in Africa, and next year will mark our 30th year since we commenced operations. Throughout our time in Africa, our focus has been on building and supporting strong, mutually beneficial relationships with our clients, our employees, local governments, local businesses, and the communities in which we operate. Relationships have always been important for us and they are even more important in navigating the world of today. Over the next 15 minutes, I'll provide an overview of our business, what drives us, and focus on the relationships to date, and importantly, the future. The standard disclaimer. Firstly, our global business. We are a mining services provider that operates at scale in both open cut mines and underground mines. And we were founded in 1987 in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia, by Ron Sayers, and we have over 30 years of operating experience. We currently operate in 11 countries across four continents, operating on 55 plus projects. We employ almost 8,000 people across our business. And we operate three industry sector groups, or ISGs, for what we call them internally. Surface mining, underground mining, and investments. And those three ISGs represent our various brands. The brands that operate in uh, Africa include African Mining Services, or AMS, in the surface mining sector, Barminko and Africa Underground Mining Services, obviously in the underground sector. And then we have uh, Supply Direct, based out of Johannesburg, and Logistics Direct, based out of Accra. Whilst they're two small businesses within our portfolio, they're critical businesses that support our logistics and supply chain networks within Africa. And everyone knows that is critical to ensure continuity and deliver certainty of the operations. Specifically about our business in Africa. We currently work at uh, 21 projects in eight countries, although we do have experience in operating in additional countries beyond the current eight. I mentioned before about our almost 8,000 employees. So 65% of our employees, or a bit over 5,000 of our employees, work in Africa. So clearly a very important part of our business. We have 740 uh, underground and surface mining assets within the African continent. So we have significant scale. And in, in addition to our strong relationships, our success has been based on three key items. Firstly, training, developing and supporting local employees. Secondly, sharing knowledge from our Australian operations around safety, operational know-how and technology advances. And thirdly, 
the scale of our business in terms of the number of our employees, the size of our asset base and our financial backing coupled with the strength of our supply chain. The combined benefit of these items is to de-risk the projects we operate to deliver certainty for clients. Within mining, you always have challenges and we have had challenges and we continue to have challenges. However, with the scale, we can easily respond and look for solutions to deliver to our customers. So I've outlined what we do and where we do it. Now importantly, I want to focus on the why and the how. We are driven by our purpose as we live our principles to deliver our aspiration. Our purpose is to create enduring value and certainty, and that is for our clients, for the communities we operate in, the stakeholders that we engage with, and most importantly, our people. An example of our purpose in action is the training centre that we recently built in Botswana, which I'll talk about in more detail later in the presentation. Our principles are more than just words on a page. They're how we operate across all of our businesses. And they're really lived by everyone. An example I want to share about uh, our principles in practice. Uh, we had one of our Perth-based employees visiting Ghana and uh, they were driving from Accra out to Banchim. And in discussion with one of the local employees, they were talking about the business and the discussion got on to talking about the principles. And the driver spoke about how since we rolled out the principles across the organisation, he has looked at the way he plans his routes, he takes the roads that are uh, better conditioned to ensure that he doesn't damage the vehicle. So he is focused on no shortcuts and never wasteful because he sees the value of that for the company. So a very powerful example about how our principles are used and embodied in everything we do across our whole organisation. By delivering on our purpose, through living our principles, we want to become indispensable to our clients and also to the communities in which we operate. As I mentioned earlier, we value the relationships within Africa and without those relationships, we would not be able to deliver mutual benefit. We believe our international experience uniquely positions us to support long-term growth in Africa. Our approach to ensure strong relationships is to share our experience and transfer our knowledge to build local capability through developing the people of the communities in which we operate and support local businesses. A good example of this has been sharing our underground mining expertise in high-speed decline development in Africa. Our Barminko business played a significant role in developing this method in Australia and through AUMS, we've introduced this method in Africa with support of our clients at the mines we work. We've trained local people in our systems and in our techniques, thereby creating value for our people and our clients. Earlier I mentioned our purpose is to create enduring value and certainty, and we do this through living our principles. Our focus is to ensure we create um, the value we create lasts beyond the projects we're involved in. We want to make a difference for the long term. And it's through living our principles and our relationships that we will achieve this. Our commitment to sustainability is an area we take seriously. And in August, we published our first sustainability report, which formally outlines our, our achievements, but more importantly, outlines our future commitments. And one of these commitments is diversity. As we all know, diversity covers multiple areas, with gender diversity a focus of plenty, albeit an area we have a long way to go. I guess it also remains an industry challenge, which is clear given over the next three days, only one of the presenters is female. So a challenge for all of us in terms of changing the industry for which we're all committed to. A key component of our success in Africa has been our commitment to local employment and providing opportunities for our people. To date, we have trained over 25,000 employees and our current employees, 88% are local to Africa. An example of this training and development is Kwame, who you see in the photo uh, up on the screen. Kwame is a fantastic example of how we develop people in Africa. 
In 2002, Kwame started an apprenticeship program with African Mining Services, or AMS, as an auto electrician. 18 years later, he's still with the business and through development and training, he's now our West African uh, Maintenance Superintendent for planning within the AMS business. And Kwame is just one example of the difference that the business, the, or the businesses that we operate in Africa have made to local people within those regions. Building on our commitment to training, last year we secured our first mining contract in Botswana and we have already built a state-of-the-art training centre to support our underground and open-cut businesses in Botswana. We are focused on developing local people. So this training centre is twice the size of the facility that we have in Perth and it incorporates the latest technology and te techniques that we use for training in Australia. We've already trained 200 local employees, but the difference we've made is beyond just skills transfer. 12 months ago, I was in Botswana on my honeymoon with my wife, and I was talking to a Botswana man, and he was telling us about a company that's just started in Botswana called Barminko. And he was telling us how, through Barminko, they are employing and training local people in underground mining. And there I am on my honeymoon with my wife, showing the beauty of Africa and the people. And it was such a proud moment to have somebody talk about the, the business, or one of the businesses that we own that's really making a difference in Botswana and the broader Africa. So when we train and develop people in Africa, we do so not just to enable mining to take place, but more importantly, to create value to the people and the communities in which we operate. And what would uh, a presentation in 2020 be without a slide on COVID? But the focus on uh, this slide is about demonstrating the value of relationships in Africa and beyond. Over the last eight months, our people across the business have done a fantastic job to keep the mines operating and keep our people employed. We set up a dedicated logistics team that was able to examine flight availability, charter options, border restrictions and immigration requirements in multiple countries to successfully navigate this complexity. We work with our people, our clients, our suppliers and local governments to ensure people were looked after. It really has been living our principle of smarter together to enable tomorrow. In addition to ensuring operations continued, we also provided support to people in need inside and outside of our business. One of our employees, Frank, a Zambian national, working for AUMS in Burkina Faso, was advised that his wife in Zambia was very unwell and in need of surgery. This was during a time where there were no regional flights within Africa. And therefore, no way for Frank to get home. Uh, we tried various options going through uh, the Netherlands, France, the UK, but Frank needed a visa to transit through there. And given the situation, the governments weren't letting out visas, but through one of our partners, we secured a transit visa for Frank through uh, London, got in on charter flight from Burkina up to London, and then he was able to travel down to Lusaka to be with his, with his wife. In addition, we've supported the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to repatriate Australians from Ghana, Burkina Faso and Botswana, non-Parenti group employees. And this is an example of where our knowledge of Africa our focus on relationships and living our principles really have ensured we've delivered in 2020. So where to from here? One of the principles that drives our organisation is enable tomorrow. Our role in Africa has always been more than just mining services. Enable tomorrow is about how we can maintain and grow our partnership for the benefit of all stakeholders as we enter our 30th year in Africa and how we can leverage our international experience and capabilities to benefit our partners in Africa and more broadly, the industry. We want to continue taking a leading role in the ongoing development of mining services in Africa. To do this, we must continue to focus on training and developing local people, not just in existing mining techniques and methods, but in new operating techniques. And technology is a great example of this. 
automation, data analytics, AI, visualisation are just some of the new technologies that have been utilised by the mining industry to make mines safer and more productive. The pace of change is rapid and African mining is well positioned to embrace this change for the benefit of the mining industry but more broadly the benefit of the continent. The value we can add is in sharing this, uh, is sharing this new technology but also in delivering the training required to realise the value from technology, thereby creating our African workforce of tomorrow. So yes, our objective is to deliver safe mining operations. But in Prenti, we say expect more. Our focus is on the legacy we leave, the skills we transfer and the families we help. Overall, we want to benefit the clients we work for and the African countries in which we operate. And we are uniquely placed to do this through our amazing people, our scale and our depth and breadth of experience in mining, but importantly, through our African and Australian relationships. Thank you. Thank you.